This question is from Gate Mechanical Engineering of 2013. This is question number 55. The question is in a simple Brayton cycle, the pressure ratio is 8 and temperature at the entrance of the compressor and turbine are 300 Kelvin and 1400 Kelvin respectively. Both compressor and gas turbine have isentropic efficiencies equal to 0.8. For the gas, assume a constant value of Cp that is specific heat at constant pressure equal to 1 kJ per kilogram Kelvin and ratio of specific heats as 1.4 that is gamma is equal to 1.4. Neglect changes in kinetic and potential energies. The thermal efficiency of the cycle in percentages. So we need to find the thermal efficiency of this cycle. The question number 55 and question number 54 of K 2013 mechanical engineering are linked questions. So you can watch the video for question number 54 as well before starting the solution. So let's see the Brayton cycle. Now in question number 54, we have already found some values. In the problem, it's already given T1 is equal to 300 Kelvin and T3 is equal to 1400 Kelvin. Okay. Also in previous question, question number 54, we have found the value of T2 using the isentropic relation. T2 we got was 543.43 Kelvin and T2 dash is equal to 604.3 Kelvin and the work done by the compressor that we obtained was 304.3 kilo watt per kilogram okay now for turbine from the isentropic relation between 3 and 4 we can write t4 by t3 will be equal to 1 upon rp to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma so from here we can find the value of t4 that will be equal to 1400 divided by r is 4 the compression ratio 0 0.4 by 1.4 so from here t4 will be equal to 772.86 kelvin now from the efficiency relation the turbine efficiency eta t that is given by t3 minus t4 dash divided by t3 minus t4 and eta t is 0 0.8 it's given in the problem that will be equal to t3 is 1400 minus t4 dash which we need to find out divided by 1400 minus 772.86 okay so from here we can get t4 dash is equal to 898.3 Kelvin. Okay, now we can find the work done by the turbine. Okay, so work done by turbine is Cp T3 minus T4 dash. Okay, or we can just directly find the net work done. Okay, net work done. Net work done will be the turbine work minus the compressor work. Compressor work we have already calculated. So Cp anyway is 1. So this will be T3 minus T4 dash minus for compressor this will be T2 dash minus T, T1 right. So T2 dash minus T1 all the values we have already obtained. So T3 is 1400 right minus T4 dash here we have Cp of course but the value of Cp is 1 so we are not writing it here. Anyway, so this is T4 dash we have got is 898.3 minus T2 dash that is 604.3 minus 300. So the net work done will be equal to 197.4 kilowatt. Okay. Now let's find out the heat supplied in the system. So heat supplied. so qs will be equal to now heat is added between 2 dash and 3 at constant pressure okay so this is cp t3 minus t2 dash so cp is 1 t3 is 1400 minus t2 is 604.3 t2 dash okay so this value will be heat supplied will be equal to 795.7 kilowatt now we need to find the efficiency of the cycle so efficiency of the cycle is 
नेट वर्क डन डिवाइडेड बाय द हीट सप्लाइड नेट वर्क डन इज 197.4 किलोवाट डिवाइडेड बाय 795.7 सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू 0.248 ओके सो इन परसेंटेज वी कैन राइट एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द साइकिल इज 24.8 परसेंट सो लेट्स गो बैक एंड मैच विद द गिवन ऑप्शन सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट चॉइस For more information, you can refer to the NPTEL course, lecture number sixty-two, Brayton cycle on concepts of thermodynamics by Professor Suman Chakraborty of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur.